watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2018 in Los Angeles. I'm joined now by Daryl Jordan-Smith of Red Hat. Daryl, thanks for joining us again Thank on you. Telecom TV. Always a pleasure. Um, this is an open source event, open networking focus. Just how seriously are telcos and the established equipment vendors taking open source? I think they're taking it very seriously because um, in order for them to be successful, they have to become more agile, they have to innovate, they have to leverage different communities, um, drive new services to market, get to those communities to add that value. So I think telecommunications companies see this as a very serious set of tools or, or methodologies or industry movement that can actually really help them. And if you look at their traditional over-the-top type service providers like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, one common denominator in all of those guys is they're heavily, 70% of everything they do is built around open source. So they've driven economies of scale there, you know, to the sense of managing a server versus you know, hundreds of dollars through to, you know, having tens of people managing very complex network infrastructures versus, you know, tens of thousands. So they have to drive that, that, that economy of scale. So telcos taking their lead from these larger web scale companies? I don't think they're taking their lead. I think they have their own position in the market space, but they certainly see the ability to use open source to drive innovation and um, communities to leverage the benefits for that as a tool, not all the tools, but a single tool that they can actually also use to benefit their business. Now we're at a stage yet within the, the, the telco environment where open networking is, is accepted, it's, it's the norm, or have we still got a bit of education and persuasion to, to do? I think we've got a lot of uh, persuasion and some education to do. Uh, it certainly helps at, at conferences like this, like ONS, where you have AT&T, Orange, China Mobile, China Telecom, you know, the who's who of the major telecommunications carriers from around the world, all adopting and saying they want an open networking standard and really challenging the industry to bring that together uh, in order to drive those benefits across the business. Because we've been talking uh, for a number of years about SDN and, and, and more recently five years or so NFE, orchestration, and automation. All these networking technologies, are, are these all in a way helping to, to encourage the drive towards open source and with 5G right around the corner yeah. as, as, as well? Is that another factor that's, that's going to help? I think 5G is a, an accelerating factor for them because you know, really what 5G is going to provide them is the, the bandwidth necessary to deliver next generation, low latency type services. And those applications are going to be developed not only by some of the telcos, but by the communities out there. So they have to create more software agile infrastructure, both networking and services to facilitate that. Everything from the edge, which will be a small cloud maybe running in a car, you know, all the way back into the core of their network. And all of that connectivity needs to come together to provide a seamless experience for the consumer and all the business that uses it. I mean, even though we're at a stage where telcos are, are still implementing SDN and, N and NFB, we've still got a long way to go um, with, with those technologies. Where's the future? What, 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 what happens? Is there a, is there a post-SDN NFB world out there? Well, I think um, it's going to evolve, and I think you're going to see SDN and NFV uh, application services deployed in containerized environments, which um, by definition need to be orchestrated at massive scale. Uh, so that could actually be created and tore down and sliced appropriately depending on the application of the individual using them. So I think that you know, from our perspective, certainly that's how it's going to evolve. And I don't think the investments a lot of the telcos have made in NFE are going to be wasted because there's a lot of core network infrastructure and capabilities built into that. And it's really their first entree in terms of building agile software-defined networking and services. Final question to you. Um, for those telcos who aren't as, as progressive and advanced as, as the large, the large ones we can we can mention, a dozen yeah. or so of those. Um, what, what's your advice to them um, if they're still contemplating how to go about embracing open source? Well, I think open source actually helps them drive their operational expenditures down. It certainly can help them a lot with the capital expenditures. You move to more commercial off-the-shelf technology versus proprietary appliances. I think that that the industry as a whole is going to be 
uh, more competitive in terms of the virtual network functions that you will be able to apply that are virtualized in software or you know, becoming more cloud native in terms of the way they're actually deployed. So my advice to the, the smaller or the, the other operators who may be very large but not taken the plunge yet is to, is to look at a common NFEI infrastructure platform yeah, recognize that you know, software defining something in their network infrastructure is critical to the success of their business in terms of new services that they need to derive, and actually work with you know, one of their, their network traditional network equipment providers like a Nokia or, a, or a Cisco or a ZTE or, or whoever they, they have those relationships or a combination thereof in order to, to move in that direction. And, and they can actually minimize their risk and exposure and get something to market pretty quickly that gen generates some of the benefits that some of the larger ones are seeing today. Daryl, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Right, thank you very much.